Question 28. An equal number of moles of metal carbonates, X carbonate and Z carbonate, are heated strongly. They both decompose and release a gas. The time taken for the compound to decompose completely is measured. Which row describes this decomposition? So being heated strongly, the carbonates are subjected to thermal decomposition. Where heat is the energy used to decompose the carbonates. And we know that metal carbonates that can be thermally decomposed will form products of the metal oxide and carbon dioxide. The gas that is released in this question is therefore the carbon dioxide gas. The time taken to decompose for each of the metal carbonate is given 92 seconds for the X and 266 seconds for the Z carbonate. The shorter the time taken to decompose, it means the easier the thermal decomposition. And we know that the more reactive the metal, the more likely it is to stay in the compound or the ionic form and the harder it is to thermally decompose that compound. So an easy thermal decomposition will mean that the metal is not going to be very reactive. An unreactive metal such as aluminium compared to sodium, which is a very reactive metal, the more reactive metal will tend to stay in the ionic state, while the less reactive metal does not mind to stay as the pure metal form, the non-ionic form. So for XCO3, 92 seconds is taken to decompose it into XO, the oxide of metal X, and carbon dioxide. This means that it was relatively easy to decompose it since the time taken was shorter, which means X must have been not so reactive. And Z, that took a longer period of time to decompose, must have been more reactive than X. Therefore, Z will be more reactive than X. Options A and B will be out. And the positive test for the gas that is produced, which is carbon dioxide gas, is going to be the test of bubbling carbon dioxide gas into lime water, which should give a white precipitate for the positive results. Therefore, D will be the correct answer.